Welcome to the Brand Theory Podcast, the podcast for helping you uncover your passion, realize your purpose, and take the aligned action. Together, we're going to prove the theory that when we live our lives on brand, the possibilities become limitless. I'm your host, Danielle Marchesi, branding expert and business coach. Let's get started. Welcome back to another episode of the Brand Theory Podcast. Today, I am super excited. I feel like I said at the beginning of every episode, but I'm excited because today we are going to be starting our first ever series on the Brand Theory Podcast. My kind of juju or my thing that I constantly am referring to because it's right in the title is our branding. And that is our personal branding and our business branding for all you entrepreneurs out there and how I believe in this the series what we're going to be talking about is I believe that when we can combine our personal brand with our business brand, we can truly use our personal brand to elevate our business as a whole. And before we get started, if you're sitting here listening to this and you are ready to turn me off because you are not a business owner, respect to you, but I just want to say really quickly, I believe we all have a personal brand. We all have a brand. Our brand is the DNA of who we are, just as it is the DNA of our business. It is our likes, our dislikes, our personality traits, how we communicate with people. It's what attracts our friends, our ideal clients or the business owners to our community, to our person. It is what builds our friendships. It's what builds our network. And just like in the business, it builds our community. And it also builds upon a like, trust, and no factor. So with that being said, if you're at all inclined to listen to this, to build a personal brand for yourself or to elevate a current personal brand for yourself, this is going to be a really cool series because again, we're going to be talking about your personal brand and using that to elevate your business, but maybe change the word business if you don't have a business to elevate your current lifestyle, to, cur- to elevate your current friendships or your current network or your current just overall how you're viewing or your perspective of whatever you're dealing with in life right now. Okay, so as I was saying, I want us to think of branding as the DNA of our business. It's those physical features like the colors and the fonts, all that good stuff, the logos combined with the personality of your business. It's the component that resonates with your audience and builds a network of potential clients and customers and especially those ideal clients. It builds upon the like, trust, and no factor. So what happens is when our audience feels like they know us, they can trust us, they automatically feel this connection to us. And especially in today's day and age, humans are craving a real genuine human connection, not the fake Instagram connection, not the fake social media connection where we're just liking for liking and we're just commenting to hope that you follow us back. We're craving those real genuine connections. And sometimes that happens by displaying our personality before the conversations even happen. I'll kind of get into that throughout the series of how we go about that. But I want us to be able to pull in a little bit more of our personality into our business to build upon this like trust and no factor. Again, when the audience trusts us, they kind of keep coming back for more. They keep wanting to know we're up to. They keep wanting to be in our wheelhouse to see what you're talking about or to hear your perspective on things or to just kind of learn from you, whether you're teaching mindset tips or you're teaching business tips, whatever it is that you teach or provide inside your business adding in that personality is going to keep your audience coming back and back again. It's kind of creating that fan base, right? But what this also does when they trust us and they feel like they know us is they're way more likely to join our programs or to buy our products because of this connection that we built. And this could be as simple as sharing your coffee or talking about where you wish you could travel right now. Or for me, I'm always talking about my mom or I'm always putting her on blast or surprising her. Or most recently we shared about her wedding, which it was an absolutely beautiful day, guys. We could not ask for a more beautiful day. She was super happy. We were so glad that a lot of their friends and family were able to come out to celebrate with them despite the current time. So side note, it was a beautiful day if you're wondering. Um, But anyway, that's kind of one of my things that I'm constantly sharing about. And it's not even a business related thing. It's a personal related thing that I'm sharing to just show a little bit more of my personal side. 
And I think a lot of people are hesitant to share that. And I'm not asking you to air your dirty laundry or to share anything that you are not comfortable sharing with. While I do think we should push ourselves to go outside the comfort zone and our boundaries just a little bit, I'm not asking a lot of you here. This is just more of a suggestion to dive a little bit deeper, share a little bit more to build upon the like, trust, and no factor. I think sometimes as entrepreneurs, we kind of forget that we're actually allowed to incorporate more of our personality into our work. And this is something we're oftentimes trained or encouraged to do less of in a more traditional work environment. Not that you're going to be a blank wall when dealing with customers or coworkers if you're in a nine to five still, but most of the time we're not jumping at the opportunity to share the latest mindset books we're reading or the podcast we're listening to or a photo of the most amazing latte you made yourself this morning or the meditation you've been using to get in touch with your higher level self. This is a whole different ball game and this is a conversation that doesn't usually happen <laughs> inside if you are working at a Starbucks or if you're working inside a nine to five corporate office, these usually aren't conversations you're having with just anybody who works walks to the door. Maybe to your work husband or wife or your coworker besties, but definitely not just the average person who comes to the door. We are trained to kind of have a little bit of a wall up, right? But in my opinion, again, the more we are authentic personalities we can show within our business, the more of the on-brand community we're going to attract, the more we grow as business owners. And guys, this is what attracts more of the sales. Again, this is a huge factor in billing and building, excuse me, that like, trust, and no factor. And when we have that factor in place, when we have that in alignment, this is when the sales become so much easier because they trust us and they feel like they know us and they feel like they connect to us before we even get on the phone with them to make the sales pitch. Again, today, more than ever, humans are craving a true connection. They're also naturally curious about the inner workings of the world they aspire to be a part of or find interesting. So if you are looking to be a community leader, if you are looking to be some type of influence, or you're looking to be a coach, or you're looking to have this brand that is bigger than just selling, and I think most of us are, and I think if you're listening to this, you're, you're probably interested in creating a bigger impact than just selling. I'm telling you the bringing in that personality is the factor that you need to either elevate, improve, or just get in complete alignment with your business brand. Okay. So how do we do this? This requires a little bit of the inner work that we may hardcore avoid. (laughs) So what I've done for you actually is I created a little workbook, kind of an audit, an audit, excuse me, to kind of walk through your current brand personality, your current business personality, and how you can align the two. So I'm going to be asking you inside this guide a couple different questions like defining your personality or what are your personality traits, getting into what you like and what you don't like, Um, We're going to have you write down any kind of influences that have influenced you inside the mindset world or the personal development world and just different things that you want people to be saying when you're not in the room, how you want people to be talking about you, your business, your brand, your personal brand when you're not in the room. Obviously, you want them to say positive things, right? But all this, what all these questions are doing is it's pulling out personality traits of you to, again, build that personal brand, but it's giving us tools and strategies that we can share. It's giving us things that we can share. And again, you may write things down that you might not feel comfortable right away sharing, but maybe it's a build up. This doesn't have to be a complete band-aid rip of completely sharing from start to finish your day. There are days where I share a lot and there are days where I share very minimal and there are definitely days where I'm not on Instagram or social media at all because I just want to have the day to myself. So again, I'm not asking you to do a complete 360 here, or I don't even know, is the right term 180? I'm not sure. Someone let me know. But I'm not asking you to make the complete change right away. I want you to think about this as a progression if this is not something you're familiar with. But if you are familiar with this, where can you dive a little bit deeper? What new hobby have you picked up? Or what new interests have you picked up that you've been kind of been a little bit hesitant to share, but you know deep down that your audience would probably relate to that? So this guide, again, is if you're starting from scratch here of building a brand, business brand, personal brand, anything, this guide will be able to walk you through that. And these questions will be able to walk you through that. But again, if you are kind of at that place where you're looking to go to the next level, this could also be used for that. So we're going to be continuing this conversation, but I want to kind of 
pause there on the conversation because I can get really, really into this and I can talk for hours about this, but I want to deliver it in bite-sized pieces because I believe it is such powerful work and such pivotal work for our lives and our business and creating the results that we want. I want to kind of stop there and just encourage you to dive a little bit deeper here, to do this inner work, to just start, even if you're not even going to download work, download the workbook, just start thinking about your life as a personal brand. If you are a business owner, especially start thinking about and start taking notice of what you believe your personal brand and your brand is communicating currently and what you want it to be communicating in the next year to five years. Again, this is a huge tool of elevating the business, curating more of that ideal client, curating more of that community, that fan base, but also to elevate the financial aspect of your brand as well. So start thinking about where you're currently at, where you want to be, and let's continue the conversation. Tell me what you think. Tell me where you are. Tell me how I can help you. This is all about wisdom that I've learned from tools and teachers and mentors and books that that have come before me. And now it's kind of my turn to pass this on and to encourage each other in this. This is not a competition. This world, this coaching world, this online world, this is really, I want to help you just as much as I was helped. And I think if we can all help each other in elevating our businesses, there's plenty to go around, guys. This is not a you're stealing clients from me type of deal community. This is really I'm here for you and I know you're here for me. So let's do this work together and let's really work to elevate that business of yours or elevate that life or all of it, both of it, (laughs) both of it. That doesn't even make sense. Uh, Anyway, okay, let me stop there. This is part one of the series. I don't even know how many parts there will be yet, but let's get started on the work. You can head to the link in the show notes to download the workbook and get started on elevating your business through your personal brand. Talk to you soon.